Who's the best team in the NFL? We got the week 12 power rankings, baby. Welcome back to the channel. Let's get straight into it, bro. We got Super Bowl contenders. We got the playoff teams. We got teams that'll probably cook for the playoffs, but we will wait and see. We got teams when is the draft? You know, it's like their season's over. They're cooked. Um, they're gonna have a top 10 pick. And then we have the teams like, oh yeah, we thought they'd be good, but they're terrible. But you know, let's get straight into it. Starting off. Starting off. Starting off, there's just one team that, like, I want to start with, bro. And it's the Dallas Cowboys, bro. <laughs> when is the draft, bro? Um, You know, I'm the biggest Cowboys hater out there. Go Birds for life, man. Go Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles. Yes, sir. Ski Cowboy. <laughs> no, sir. Um, Yeah, bro. When's the draft for them? I didn't think they were going to be good, so I can't even put them in the bottom section because we knew they were going to suck. We knew they would be a bunch of bots. But that's besides the point because if, like, Shadur goes there and then Dion's the coach, like, I won't be able to hate them as much as I do, bro. Like, no glaze, but, like, it's cool. Like, Dion's cool. Dion lit. Shadur cool, too. Like, I wouldn't be mad at that. Uh, like, I mess with CD Lamb and Micah, but, like, they a cowboy. I can't really mess with them. If Dion goes there, I might have to show them some love. But that's besides the point. Let's get into it. We got the Arizona Cardinals. I'm putting them as a playoff team, bro. They had a bye week. Don't know who they play this upcoming week, but it's looking like they're going to win that division, bro. They have a game lead uh, right now, and everybody still has to play everybody. I think they play the Seattle. If they beat Seattle, bro, they're going to definitely be in the driver's seat of that division. Uh, but, like, the Niners, not sure about them. The Rams look okay. They got to play the Eagles this week, so we'll see. And then Seattle, I don't know, bro. They, they got a lucky win against the Niners. The Falcons... Um, we, as in me, I thought they'd be good, but they're kind of terrible. Um, but honestly, they're going to win their division, so they're a playoff team, unfortunately. Uh, maybe my glazing of them was a little too strong. Um, but yeah, I think this week we're going to have a lot more Super Bowl contenders because I still have the Ravens as a Super Bowl contender. Definitely have the Bills as a Super Bowl contender. Ravens lost to the Steelers. Justin Tucker might be washed. Uh, Derrick Henry's got to touch the ball more. Their offensive coordinator. I don't know what's wrong with that, brother. He's absolutely tweaking. Absolutely tweaking. Not handing him the ball more than 13 times. But the Bills beat the Chiefs. Um, the Bills beat Hitler, as they would say. They beat, you know, the people that everybody hates, whatever. Um, yeah, good for the Bills. Still a regular season win. Um, there's still a lot more football to be played. But that's a good win. No one's going undefeated. So, you know, them old heads... Dolphins fans and the mold heads on the team and the Dolphins, they can relax and no one's going to beat the record. Um, the Panthers, when's the draft? Yeah. Bryce Young, imagine he beats the Chiefs this week. That would be pretty funny. Um, I doubt it, but that would still be pretty hilarious. They do play the Chiefs. Um, I think Jonathan Brooks is finally going to play this week. I don't know if that matters. Miles Sanders probably going to be running back three, but yeah, it's cool. First team for the new... Uh, thing, we got the Bears, thought they'd be good, but they're terrible, Bears have lost three, four in a row, I think, they're four and six, they were four and two, um, I thought the Bears were gonna be good, bro, I really did, they went out and got some great players, um, I think Justin Fields has a better record than Caleb Williams right now on that team, if Justin Fields was still there, um, but yeah, you know, they fleeced the Panthers, they've made good moves, but... It's just not adding up, bro. They haven't beat the Packers in, like, 11 straight games, which is ridiculous. Like, that's really they big, bro. That's really daddy to the Bears' paws. That's really, you know, which I'm going to call it. The Bengals, you can say the Bengals are cooked. I don't think they're terrible because Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, are insanely good. But that defense, even though they have the sacks leader and then some other good pieces, can't stop nobody. They, can't, they couldn't stop me and all y'all, bro. I don't know. They're just bad. It's 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 been tough to watch because Joe Burrow's having his best c career year, damn near. And they're what four and seven. They gotta win out, bro. They can't lose another game. But if they lose another game, you know they're done. But I'm gonna put them in. Might be cooked. The Browns are done. They have Thursday night football game against the Steelers. They could mess around and win that game off some random stuff just because it's the Browns and the Steelers. A divisional game. You never know. Uh, the Broncos. Only reason I put the Broncos as might be cooked for the playoffs 
is because they're the third best team in their division and the Chargers are better. And I think the Chargers are a playoff team this year. Um, yeah, that's the only reason I have the Broncos being cooked for the playoffs. I think they're playing really well. Bo Nix had an insane game this past week against the Falcons. I was glazing the Falcons defense all offseason. And they got Judon, Justin Simmons, Jesse Bates is still there. So I was glazing, but they still stink. The Lions, we already know what the Lions bring to the table, bro. Um, 52 points for no reason. Everybody on their team scored. It's getting ridiculous at this point, bro. It's getting out of hand. Um, someone needs to stop that offense. I don't know if there's many defenses out there that can stop that offense. I think an Eagles-Lions in the a NFC Championship would be a great game to watch. Will it happen? I don't know. Still a lot of season left, but that's going to be a, a great thing to see. The Packers. The Packers, man. The Packers. Got a big win, bro. I'm going to say they're a playoff team right now. I'm going to say they're a playoff team. Same as the Texans. I think these two teams are very similar. Um, they go as far as that QB takes them. I don't think either of them have an insane defense to win them games. So I think that both of their QBs are going to have to win them games. Like, I mean, the skilled players in the Lions win them games. And Jared Goff just is uh, efficient. Lamar wins some games. Josh Allen wins some games. So I guess they're similar. But teams like the Eagles, I think the Eagles' defense can win them games. I think the Chiefs' defense can win them games. Um, like, teams like that. Like, the Steelers' defense has won them all their games this year, damn near. So, you know, that's what I'm thinking. The Colts, uh, you know, they still got to play the Titans again. Uh, I think they play the Jags one more time. So, it's a couple wins. Have a long shot at making the playoffs. Have a better chance than the Bengals right now. Uh, so, I wouldn't say they're completely out of it. Anthony Richardson looks like Cam Newton. Or he looks like after the ag allegations to Sean Watson. It's one of the two, and, you know, you hope he's prime Cam Newton um, at the end of the day. Uh, the Jags, nobody thought the Jags were going to be good with freaking Kirk and Gabe Davis and Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, Trevor's Cook, bro, I'm not going to lie. Chiefs, Super Bowl contender. Raiders, when's the draft? Rams, the Rams. It's going to be, I think, okay. I'm going to put all three of these teams in the same position right now in this division. These three teams are in the same division as the Cardinals. And that being said, somebody's got to win the division. And if it's not the Cardinals, it's going to be one of these three teams, obviously. So that division is wide open. There's a one-game difference. Everybody else is tied. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Also, coming to might be cooked for the playoffs, the Dolphins. Dolphins have now won back-to-back -back games and are four and six, I believe. Um, they play the Bills again. They play the Patriots. I think they still have to play the Jets twice. So that's a lot of, you know, that's a lot of games that they could win um, and potentially sneak into that AFC wild card game. But we shall see. We don't know yet. The Vikings. Um, I think the Vikings is a playoff team. I feel like the Vikings could lose to the Bears this week. I'm not going to lie. Like, I could actually envision that happening, the Bears losing. Um, but, hey, we'll see. I don't know. Patriots wins the freaking draft. Uh, Saints. Saints actually low-key belong, and we thought they'd be good, but they're terrible. Just based off their first two wins. Put up 40 back-to-back -back games. It was like combined 90 points, and everybody's glazing. I'm like, oh, my God, the Saints, this and that. Then they play the Eagles and look terrible and lose. Barely, though. The Eagles look terrible as well. Um, and they lost a lot of games in a row. They lost seven games in a row, and now they've won two in a game, games in a row. But I thought they'd be decent. I thought they had a good chance to win that division. Uh, but they're terrible. The Giants finally got rid of Daniel Jones. We'll see what happens there. Danny DeVito, they're still not a good football team. When's the draft, brother? The Jets. The Jets are, bro. Devontae Adams, Garrett Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Brees Hall, like, bro, Sauce Gardner, uh, whatever his name is on the line, Quinnen Williams, Quincy Williams, uh, uh, CJ Mosley. Who else I got? DJ Reed, bro. Like, all these good-ass players, big names. And they suck. They're bad. It's just a little frustrating as a fan of the game to see the team with all these players be so bad. But, hey, bro, that's football, man. That's how it is, man. Um, it's tragic. It's tragic. The Eagles, welcome to Super Bowl contenders. Please don't jinx the Eagles season now that I put them in Super Bowl contenders. Um, winners of six straight. Got a big game 
against the Rams in LA this weekend on Sunday night football. That's not even the right sound, but big game this week. Uh, excited to watch that one. The Steelers, welcome to Super Bowl contenders as well. Y'all been balling, bro. Y'all been balling. That defense looks tough. Russ hasn't lost the game yet. Shout out Mike Tomlin. That's a great coaching change. The Bucks. The Bucks. Not too much on the Bucks. I like the Bucks. I thought they were going to be good, but they're kind of terrible. But that's simply because of injury. Simply because of injury. So, Bucks fans, if you're watching, don't take this to heart. Um, if you guys were injured, I think you guys probably win this division. Um, but I'm sorry. Injuries suck, man. I'll see y'all next year. The Titans. The Titans. Low-key, bro. They made a lot of acquisitions in the offseason. Like, they had Calvin Ridley. They had D-Hop, Tyler Boyd, uh, Traylon Burks. Got Tony Pollard, who's a solid running back on the defensive side. Sneed. They got, like, Jamal Adams. Quandre Diggs. They have Jeffrey Simmons, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. I thought they could have been a sneaky good team. I swear I thought they was going to be a sneaky good team if Will Levis took a year two leap. But, no, he didn't. He got eating all that mayonnaise, and he's still a buster. Mason Rudolph looked decent for them, but they're not winning any games. They have one of the best defenses in the league, like top five. Um, but, yeah, I thought that was going to be okay, but they're actually terrible. And Washington Commanders, I think the playoff team, seven wins, seven and four. Play the Cowboys this week. Should win that. Um, but, yeah, this is the list, bro. This is the best teams. Blind ranking. Not really blind ranking because I can see it all, and I know everything's going. But, yeah, power rankings for week 12, heading into week 12. Got another video tomorrow, another video on Thursday. Not sure what tomorrow's going to be, but Thursday's going to be the picks. Doing really well in the picks, so if you guys want some locks, make sure you tune into the channel because I got the locks, bro. But with all that being said, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to be back with more videos for the rest of the season, bro. NBA videos, NFL videos. We're keeping it going. we on that grind, baby. And let's get it, man. We all love football season. I appreciate y'all for watching, and we out of here.